What's up everyone? Today we're going to ask the question, is my stick legal to use in field hockey competitions? So throughout time, the FIH, which is the governing body of field hockey, have added rules to the uh, equipment of field hockey and we want to go over some of these rules today that you can check at home to see if you think your stick is legal for competition or you've got to stop using it. So let's go over the rules. The two most simple rules of all are length and weight. A stick can only be as long as 42 inches, as you can see here. This one's a 37.5. Um, this one's very easy to do, you just need a tape measure. The next one is weight. Get yourself a set of weighing scales. The weight does include everything. Uh, stuff like your chamois, any weird bits of tape and things like that you've put on the face of the stick, that's all weighed uh, because it is your stick as it is to be used in competition. So the weight limit is 26 ounces, which is 737 grams. This one's easily under the weight limit. And there is actually quite a few older sticks out there that do break this rule and uh, and are illegal because they're too heavy to use. There's no um, lower weight limit. A stick can be as light as it possibly can be, really. Now for the slightly more interesting ones. We are lucky enough to have been given these by the FIH. Thank you very much, FIH. The simple one of all is a very simple piece of apparatus. It is a 51 millimeter ring and you have to put the ring over the whole of the stick and get it back out the other side. Pretty simple test to do. Uh, quite hard to do at home though because a lot of people do not have a 51 millimeter ring exactly. Um, I check around your house to see if you've got any like old reels of tape or ribbon or something like that. Those reels can sometimes be 51, uh, though they're usually 50, and can, that can be a really easy way of testing out your stick at home. Uh, however, most people don't have a perfectly 51 millimeter ring, but a pair of calipers are kind of cheap from Amazon or eBay and uh, will definitely do the job. So you can set your calipers to 51. Come on, hey. And kind of put it over your stick and just check out whether you think everything is passing through or not. I guess because it's a hockey stick, it's most likely that by the head of the stick, it's gonna be the trickiest, but I'm very convinced that the 51 mil ring will pass through this. This is measured with all the tape on, so if you're someone that wraps a load of fabric tape around the um, control point of the stick, then you've got to measure it with that on. This ring has to make it past the any kind of tape or anything you put on. And the other tricky piece of uh, equipment that I showed earlier is this. It's a, called a cathedral, and uh, these are incredibly hard to get, but if you want to make your own, maybe out of card is quite a good way, then I shall put the dimensions up on screen now for you all to check out. You can cut this out of card and it will be quite useful to use. If you don't have access to card or a pair of scissors, then I've found in the past that some coins can work kind of well for this as well, like a 10p or a a uh, two euro coin. They're close, they're not quite right, but they're close enough for you to maybe get an idea of whether your stick is legal. This cathedral thing is used to measure the bow of the stick. Everyone is interested about bow severity and bow position. So to measure this, get your stick and you place your stick on a perfectly flat surface. 
This in practice is really, really hard to find. Most tables in the wo world are bowed. If they're bowed by even a millimeter, most sticks will be illegal. So it's imperative that you find a perfectly flat surface. This table is pretty good because it's supported by lots of metal underneath. Um, but if you don't have a perfectly flat table, which is very unlikely, then you can do things like use uh, plastic top chipboard uh, from, that you can pick up from a DIY store. That's quite a good one, even though they can be bowed as well. Or sometimes the floor. The floor is usually the best option for most people, especially if you have like a perfectly level resin floor uh, or something like that. If not, find yourself something perfectly flat, maybe a big sheet of glass, an old window. Uh, you might have to get creative this one, but yeah, most tables are not really ideal or good enough to do this test with and dramatically affect the results because you need uh, to get this cathedral underneath your stick and the whole idea is that you're supposed to touch the very peak of the top point of the cathedral on the stick before the main flat side touches your stick. Uh, but even if your stick passes this test with the cathedral, it still could be illegal because the bow peak height position could be too low. So now you're trying to find at what point you can push your cathedral as far underneath the stick as possible, which should be the peak height of the bow of your hockey stick. Then you get your ruler and you line your ruler up with the uh, head of the stick as we are measuring from the head of the stick. Uh, then when you think you found the perfect point at where you can put the cathedral most through or maybe your coin or your card cutout of your cathedral, then uh, you look down at your ruler and you see at what point the peak of the cathedral is and your stick is legal as long as that point is on the other side of 20 centimeters. If your peak bow height is less than 20 centimeters, your stick is illegal. There's quite a few sticks that are illegal out there that break this rule, so it's definitely the rule that is worth checking the most. Uh, but yeah, we've got ourselves a legal stick here, which is great. And it's ready for competition. I hope you've learned a little bit about the rules of hockey equipment and hopefully all of your sticks are legal and you're still able to play hockey with them. Uh, but leave a like on the video, ask all your rules questions below and we'll try and answer them all. Have a great day everyone, check out our other videos and see you later, bye bye! Ooh.